HMS Weekly English Program. This is a weekly international Harari Media Services English program that focuses on different aspects and issues related to Harar and the Harari people, be it social, political, economic, or historical facts. In a nutshell, it deals with everything Harar in conjunction with affairs in Ethiopia. It is intended to reach Harari and non-Harari viewers and audiences alike around the globe. It is informative, educative, and above all, it is meant to present facts and build capacity at all levels. As witnessed by various governments and international organizations, undeniably, Harar is a city-state of peace within the Ethiopian galaxy and the African universe. This weekly English program was created to promote peace and humanity to its viewers allowing them to have people-to-people -people relationships of peaceful coexistence in Harar and Ethiopia at large. As such, today we have the following episodes for you. African Union Youth Development Strategies Lessons and Pathways for Higher Youth Written by Abdul Fattah Khalil Narrated by Adila Adus Approximately 46% of Africa's labor forces 53% of Ethiopia's labor forces and almost the same proportion of Harar's labor forces are young aged 15 to 35 years today. According to African Union recent reports, the youth face significant challenges in accessing key development resources such as education, skills development, employment, and work experiences. In fact, among the myriad of problems, the youth face the mismatch of qualifications. In fact, over 100,000 Ethiopian university graduates per year and most end up loitering. And workforce requirements, non-skills development, limited youth participation in leadership and governance structures, restricted access to investment capital, and unavailability or non-accessibility of skills training programs. Internal bleeding is the main factor for any nation, community, society, and even an individual to self-destruct, fail, and eventually collapse. According to African Union findings, marginalization and the failure to invest in young people exposes Africa to economic underperformance and brain drain, youth criminality, and political and social unrest of youth in the society. Her and Ethiopia at large are no exceptions. The recent so-called transformation in Ethiopia had manifested itself largely because of the hopelessness, desperation, unemployment, and poverty among the youth throughout the country. In addition, thousands of young people continue to resort to desperate measures including forced migration in search of better education, livelihood, and a better future as widely known ending in the Mediterranean Sea graveyard. In order to save these young lives and the nations in Africa at large, the African Union has rolled out a new initiative, the One Million by 2021, which aims to reach one million young people in Africa by creating opportunities for youth to actively and meaningfully drive the full realization of Africa's Agenda 2063. It is high time Ethiopia to tap from such initiatives and trickling them down to the state level, including her. Within the resources available, however, her could also learn from such initiatives and create a locally adjusted roadmap to help its young population in creating solutions and bring down the high unemployment among the youth in her. What are some of the lessons we learn from the African Union initiatives? Paying homage to my great grandparents and the Hari heroes of Wereg Zeman, they made her at the time the center of knowledge, medicine, and trade. These facts are re-emerging at continental levels. We do not have to reinvent the wheel, but we can adapt them to the local conditions and feed into Ethiopia and African solutions. After several days of deliberations in Addis Ababa, the Pan-African Forum, composed of over 400 young people across Africa, had come up with four key areas. That is, education, employment, entrepreneurship, and engagement, the four E's, to combat the roots of the problems facing the youth. Moreover, 
these four E's were further divided into 12 pathways to drive and facilitate the expansion of opportunities in youth development. Having understood these African Union youth development pathways, in fact, the capacities of the higher youth should be built through local social institutions such as Afocha and Mugad, as well as through running secular and religious educational institutions tandemly. Financial capacities can also be built through village or borough level social financing groups. Of course, backed by sustainable financial institutions such as Islamic banks, interest-free lenders, and individual Hari financiers in her. In order to have meaningful and significant change to happen in her, one, education is the key to development, innovations, creativity, and self-employment. Providing scholarships to the young people at all educational levels, as well as alternative ways, such as online learning, establishing teachers and technical training colleges, delivering both religious and secular education, are the key to effective capacity building in her. Remember, our ancestors made her the center of knowledge that spread throughout Ethiopia and East Africa. It is high time to get together to create the 21st century where examen. Behold, Hari Intelligence is to voluntarily contribute to impart and equip the youth through various initiatives, including conducting short courses and business development education in Har. Without education, we will be incarcerated in deep darkness and there will be no 21st century where examen. 2. Creating Employment Opportunities by providing professional internships and apprenticeships that will enable young youth to develop the skills required at workplaces. Engaging the young in such activities will open a world of employment and creativity opportunities. Developing and engaging the young in digital skills program will help them to acquire new skills and connecting to the world. It will also create knowledge-based businesses that open doors locally, regionally, and globally. Most Haris used to be employers and created various jobs for locals and the surrounding areas. It is possible to revive Haris' glory through unity, hard work, and connecting people to people. Behold, if work causes one to tire, inactivity causes one to decay. Thereby, continue being stuck in the past. 3. Entrepreneurship Haris are not new to free enterprising. According to Burton, British author on her, he described, Haris are born business people. It is time to engage ourselves in mobilizing capital to allow Hari youth to venture and start up businesses, be it small or medium businesses. Hari financiers should stretch their hands to provide interest-free loans to Hari youth in scaling up joint business opportunities, ventures, virtual and physical mentorships, as well as incubation services with successful Hari companies in Ethiopia and beyond. The prophet, peace be upon him, said, The believer is like a bee that eats what is wholesome and produces what is wholesome, and when it lands on a small branch, it does not break it. Let the financiers produce wholesome in her. Four. Engagement, engagement, engagement. It is the responsibility of Hari leaders at all levels, including the president and his cabinets, sectorial administrators, Afocha, and various community leaders to coach, nurture, and consistently support young leaders across her and the surrounding areas. Engaging in eradicating corruption, promoting good governance, upholding justice, Nurturing equity and empowering the young and woman are the core development pathways. These types of activities would benefit Haris and friends of her in order to have long-term people-to-people relationships, as well as sustainable development. Do not despair, but show your iron will for good things come through toil. Last but not least, Ethiopia as a whole, and particularly her, is at unprecedented crossroads today. 
The past glory has gone, and the current weak spots could reveal the answers to our problems. Face our problems with unity. Everything on earth marches forward, preparing for a new season, and so should we. Task identity, skill variety, task significant meaningfulness, and unity will finally create self-reliance, community enrichment, and peace. These comprehensive approaches, inclusive strategies, and actions would transform the Hara youth and create alliances with the surrounding areas to have justice, security, sustainable development, and peace. Behold, it is the principles and characters of our great-grandparents that determined our values and made Hara great. If it is not now, and if it is not you, who will make Hara glorious again? IHMS.